guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well today. Today I have a Poundland haul for you guys. So I do have not one, but two bags. So this is actually from Poundland, but um, I actually took a bag with me to the pound shop. If you're in the UK, then you'll know you'll take all of our bags. So I was just trying to save where I can. But anyway, you guys, I did a Poundland haul, like, literally, i say two weeks ago now. And I had to go back to Poundland to pick up some puppy pads for Tilly. And then, you know, the rest was history. I literally, I didn't spend too much. I spent £17, so that wasn't too bad. I got puppy pads for my mum, because my mum has a puppy as well. Um, which, funny enough, is actually Tilly's sister. They come from the same litter. And her name is Sister. One day I'll show, um, put like film when she's here. But anyway, guys, so I want to get into the haul. Guys, if you want to subscribe already, subscribe to the channel. Um, obviously, I've given Tilly her toys because I bought two toy new toys for Tilly, um, but she is already playing with them. I will show you one of them first of all because she's actually playing with the other. Um, this is actually a two pack. So it's like these little squeaky toys. See, yeah, there she is now. <laughs> like, what's that, mum? Um, you get two in the pack, which is really, really good. And they're only a pound, like, literally. And I love the size of these because, like, literally, they're, like, this big. I just have to do that because sometimes things look different sizes on, on camera. Um, but, yeah, they're the perfect size for puppies. So, obviously, her mouth is small and stuff. Yeah, she's like, why are you not giving it to me? <laughs> um, and then also, whilst we're on, I got her this toy as well. This is actually a, a baby toy. Um, and now, I don't know. Some people might beg to differ, but for me, I think a lot of the baby toys, like for TV and things like that, are the same as dog toys. I know they're not going to be as durable um, because Tilly has started biting this and look at it already. But I mean, this was two quid. And I mean, even if it lost her for like a week or two, I don't mind. It's gonna help her, her teeth and stuff because it's better than her chewing up my focus, which she does attempt to do sometimes. I have to give it back to her. But anyways, it's this elephant, <laughs> textured elephant. It has these textured feet. <laughs> it has these textured feet. I swear we didn't rehearse this. <laughs> it has these textured like um, feet which she had like literally chomped through that. Um, it has this twinkly belly and it has a, a bell somewhere. I think it's inside. I'm gonna have to give it to her because she's like literally, yeah. <laughs> so if you're stuck for like dog toys in the pound shop, go to the baby section and pick up a few there. Obviously all toys, dog toys, baby toys, whatever toys you give to your dog, anything you give your dog to play with, your puppy, you need to supervise your dog. Um, it's very important things can come off they can um, chew through things even like I'm saying like that has been worn down but um, she's had dog toys that she's chewed through already so for me I don't really see any difference with getting her some baby toys and also giving her some puppy toys anyways <laughs> sorry I say I realize I say anyways a lot I'm going to give um, her sister this one. You have yours over there, darling. Because there's two in a pack. And obviously she's not going to use two at once. But now she's going to want to go and get that. It's over there, sweetheart. Look, over there. Go get your one. Um, yeah, so moving on. So the first bag. I do have a few cleaning products. So I know that might be boring to some people. But welcome to adulthood. <laughs> so I'll just get the cleaning products out of the way flash oh my goodness <coughs> excuse me flash is literally like my best friend i love flash it is with bleach so i do not use this in the areas that tea goes um i mainly use this in my bathroom on my kitchen countertops um where else just anywhere that, that tea does not go because obviously it has bleach and it is very harsh but it is excellent from like cutting through grease i mean i clean the cooker with it it's just the best and most of the time you can get it for um a pound even like tesco express um a lot of places you can get it for a pound 
but I don't mind paying even two quid for it. Like it's, it's, it's really, really good. I love, 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 love flash. So you're definitely not having that tea. This is Fab, I think it's called Fabuloso or something like that. Um, I just started getting into this when I first got Tilly. Uh, she's found the other green squeaky toy. <laughs> so you might hear squeak any minute now. Um, yeah, I started getting into this when I got Tilly because I, I don't know if it's pet safe. Let me just tell you that. I'll just put that out there. I don't know if it's pet safe, but um, I know it doesn't smell harsh. It's antibacterial. Um, I don't like spray it where I know she's gonna, there you go, she's gonna like really like continuously lick or something, or something like that. But I just know it's not harsh and I just spray it and then make sure it's completely dried and wiped up. She tends to not really lick the floor anyway. She might just smell it. But I just feel like it's better than um, using bleach. Let me know in the comments down below if you know any cleaning products that are actually pet safe. Or let me know if this is actually pet safe. So I found out about this in the pet section in Audi. So it was next to the pet stuff. So I assumed it was actually pet safe. I haven't actually read it. I should read it. So forgive me. I'm probably a bad pet mum for do not doing that. <laughs> but I am quite responsible when using it. So let me know if this is actually pet safe or any products you know that I can just like are easy accessible for me to get affordable that are pet safe. Yes. Okay. So let's move on. This is the same bag. We're doing cleaning products. Okay. So the next thing I got. So this Silly Bang Drain on Blocker, my kitchen sink, like I have that, you know those type of split sinks? So I've got a split sink in my kitchen and it's not blocked, but it's definitely going down slower than what it used to. So my brother was like, just get a big one liter of bleach from Aldi and tip it down there and leave it. But I was just like, you know what? Let me just, let me just get um, a drain on Blocker. So I got drain and blocker and I'm gonna give it a go tonight. I just tend to leave um, these things overnight. When I had my toilet drain, my toilet drain? Yeah, my toilet drain. No, no, my bath drain blocked up. <laughs> I literally left it overnight. I just feel like they're best works overnight when everything, um, you're not using any type of water at all. Nothing sort of running through the system to sort of wash it away so it works best and I'll just tip the whole thing down. That was two pounds. So I'm not even telling you the prices. So all of these three products were a pound. Apart sorry, apart from this, this was two pounds. There was one for a pound, but the guy said it is sold out, which is not surprising because I would have bought that. Um excuse the squeaking because Tilly is playing with her toy. Um, I think that's all the cleaning products out of the way. Yes, it is. Moving on to some sort of bathroom cosmetic type things. I got this Daily Moisture 2-in-1 Shampoo Conditioner. This is from Dove. I've never used this before, but I just thought it would be nice to wash out the extensions with because um, I feel like when you use... I don't use shampoo at all on like my wigs. Um, any hair that I buy or anything like that because I just feel like it's I just feel like it's too harsh for the hair um, even my own natural hair I only use a little bit of shampoo because it just really strips the hair from any sort of oils it has or anything like that so I um, thought this would be better it will have some type of moisture in it not just um, shampoo stripping the hair sorry about the lighting I am using daylight uh, of course, Tilly's having fun. Toothbrush. This toothbrush is actually for Tilly. Now, guys, I'm just, like, trying to save some money out here. <laughs> I paid... Uh, I can't bother to get it now, but I paid about £3 for Tilly's dog toothbrush. It has, like, a small toothbrush on the end, which is probably about the size of this one, and then a larger one at the bottom. And she's bitting through the other one. Now, the vet said to me that I don't really need to brush her teeth now, but it's good to sort of get her used to having something in her mouth. Um, so I wanna just keep it up. Um, and she doesn't seem to like the big end because I was just gonna turn it around and just let her use the big end because she's like chewed up the small end that she uses. And I just think it's because, <laughs> I just think it's because it's probably just too big and it's just overwhelming for her. So I got this 
um, Kitty's toothbrush, so it's soft. It's probably about the same size as the small end of her toothbrush. And she's probably going to bite through this one as well. So I just bought a pound. At least I can keep changing it because I don't want plastic, you know, shedding in her mouth when she's brushing her teeth. That that's horrible. Um, so yeah, I got her Kitty's toothbrush, and I let you guys know how that works out. But I think she'll like it. Next thing for Tilly again, this whole haul is like Tilly, Tilly, Tilly. But anyways, um, I got some hundred fragrance nappy bags. Um, I love the ones in Aldi because they're like quite thick, good quality. So I usually get them from there. Um, but apparently they don't sell them anymore. Well, the lady said that they've never sold them, but I know 100% that they have sold nappy bags in Aldi. So... <laughs> I got these, I'm trying not to say anyway again because I realise I say that a lot. I got these to put her puppy pads in, um, any sort of nasty grim stuff that I have to clean up. I put them in here, then I put them in the bin because if not, I'll have a very stinky house. So nappy bags, they were a pound. Sorry, this was a, a two quid, which is understandable because it's quite a big bottle, yeah, 400 mils. And obviously this was a pound, so yeah. Next, last thing for Tilly, I promise. Oh, actually apart from the puppy bags. I got these scissors, it's like a scissors and tweezer set. And I'm assuming they're for like eyelashes, um, cut trimming your eyebrows. But I thought these were perfect for um, trimming the hair on Tilly's eyes. She's a cockapoo, so her eye, her, Hair tends to sort of grow upwards into her eyes and I really need to trim it and I don't want to use big crazy scissors. I do have hair scissors obviously for myself but I think these will be perfect for her. Um, so I'm going to be using these just to trim her eyes. I don't know how we're going to do with that because she's now she's chewing on my tripod. Excuse me. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so... I let you know how that goes. I'm actually really scared. I get the vet to always cut her nails. So I'm quite scared to do um, cut her hair. I have done it already with the big scissors, but um, I didn't really like to use them. Hair removal cream. I got the Nair sensitive hair removal cream. I just thought, like, I haven't used hair removal cream on my legs for a long time, and that is what I religiously used to use. I should have really got two to be honest, but I just thought I was spending so much already. Um, but I just like the feel of having nice smooth legs. I haven't really used it for maybe six months or something like that, or probably more than that. I don't think I've used it this, or maybe early in lockdown last year. And it just feels really like nice and smooth. Because when I shave, I feel like my hair grows back faster. So I'm going to see how this works out because I don't really remember if it's much more smoother for me or what 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 sorry if i'm talking super fast but i don't want this video to be long my lunch is in the oven and tilly's squeaking her toy <laughs> so it's all happening here um colgate toothbrush like i think this pack is amazing for a pound like four toothbrushes for a pound like that is incredible and they're actually colgate it's just crazy um and they're medium but i really feel like they're a hard toothbrush so if you have sensitive gums probably not good for you sensitive gums or teeth i wouldn't get this i wouldn't get this but um i like a hard toothbrush these are very good i get them all the time i should just buy two at a time but hey ho this is a body spray like they call it a body fragrance but it's like a body fragrance spray thing i love the smell of this guy i don't want to spray it actually. i was gonna spray it again sometimes i think girl i've got tilly i can't do certain things um but yeah so i get this i love 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 the smell of this i used to use it when i was younger and sometimes when i'm in a power shop and i see it i just pick it up i think it smells really nice it's a bit bulky for your handbag but i mean if you're like got a work handbag that you can sort of chuck everything in then that can sort of fit in there and it smells really nice and you can still sort of smell it on you when you like throughout the day so yeah i think this bag is literally just puppy pads i got four packets for me and four packets for my mum i don't think there's anything else in there that is from town shop no there's not so i got the pack that has seven is there seven in here yeah there's seven puppy training pads they're called these are like super good guys like i don't i wouldn't really buy anything more expensive than these they are 
they're pound yeah these ones are pound i had to think them because there's a bigger pack that had 30 in it for two pounds 50 um so by buying like individual packs you do you know you do save a little bit weight when you buy the the, the 30 pack for two pound 50 but there was none there and i'm not surprised because it's it, it's a really good steal so i got four packets for me and four packets for my mum i don't know if i just said that <laughs> but yeah so i'm just going to continue buying puppy pads from poundland um from now on because i usually buy them on amazon and they range from anything from um 10 pounds up to 20 pounds and i just think that's really excessive for puppy pads and i'm hoping by next week we can reduce the amount we use um a day because she's going to be going outside so we're going to hopefully we should be using less puppy pads um although i have been kind of feeling anxious like i know people do walk their dogs early hours in the morning but i don't think i'm going to be that person because i just all these horror stories you hear of like i don't even want to say things but yeah i just feel like i'm gonna let her go to the toilet in the morning like morning toilet on the poppy pad as soon as sunrise comes then we can go out but i don't really want to be walking my dog when it's um pitch black outside obviously when it's winter it's so dark even at seven o'clock doesn't really get light until like eight nine ish so and it's starting to get like that already so i think i'm just gonna walk her um after sunrise every day <laughs> I'm, I'm really looking forward to our walks guys that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i should really just get the puppy pads and go when i go in to poundland but i just can't i can't i can't do it guys and sometimes i go to different pound shops i'm like oh my god they've got this oh my god they've got that and then i just but 17 pounds wasn't bad 17 pounds was not bad 17 pounds wasn't bad so but yeah i probably will be visiting poundland before what are we now i think we're on like the 17th on oh, my phone's over there today's probably the 17th i think or something like that so i don't think i have some pads left from amazon so i don't think i'll be needing to visit poundland again this month for puppy pads um so next month will probably be the next time you see a poundland haul but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did guys please give it a big thumbs up if you aren't subscribed already please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you always be notified every time i upload videos and i'll see you soon guys